The European Commission has made a proposal that is supposed to make EU regulation better and more transparent. The move is welcomed by European businesses, but civil society groups are concerned. They fear that better regulation actually means weaker protection of EU citizens and environment. The current European Commission wants the EU to be big on big things and small on small things. This means that the EU should only regulate when necessary. According to the Commission First Vice President Franz Timmermans, this is what citizens really want. I know that over 70% of the Europeans uh, perceive uh, European legislation as too cumbersome, too burdensome, unclear. I do believe that we can do a lot better. Do better means improving the dialogue with stakeholders and do more impact assessments. In a proposal, Franz Timmermans suggested that stakeholders, such as ordinary citizens, NGOs and companies, should have more possibilities to say what they think about EU laws, both before and after they are adopted. For instance, through a new web portal. A new regulatory scrutiny board should also give opinions on the impact assessments, which are made before legislation is proposed. And the Commission asked fellow lawmakers, the European Parliament and the Council to do their own impact assessments if they propose big changes to the Commission proposals, something which basically is not done today. EU member states are also urged to avoid unjustified so-called gold plating, which means that national laws go further than EU regulation. These ideas are welcomed by European businesses, who see a chance of less bureaucracy. But civil society groups are worried. Paul de Klerk at the environmental NGO Friends of the Earth Europe fears that the better regulation agenda is really about deregulation in the interest of business. This is about listening to business and giving a voice to business and reducing the influence for normal citizens. Uh, because what we see is that the Commission is coming with a large number of hurdles uh, which are being installed to actually make it more difficult for the European Commission to introduce environmental, labour, health and safety standards in the future. And also to uh, take all kinds of measures which might weaken or uh, basically cancel already existing uh, legislations on environment and these other issues. To respond to the agenda of the Commission, Friends of the Earth Europe has come together with some 50 NGOs to create a better regulation watchdog. One of the other members of this group is the European Trade Union Confederation, where Veronica Nilsson argues that the Commission is trying to grab power from the elected representatives in EU member states and in the European Parliament when they ask them to do costly impact assessments. She also gets worried when the Commission calls on member states not to go too far when implementing EU legislation. But legislation in the social field is always minimum standards. And the whole idea is that the governments go beyond these minimum standards. They should go further. That is what the European Union is about. It's also in the treaty we want social progress. To achieve social progress, we need to go beyond the minimum. But if then the Commission is accusing member states of going too far, then I think we really have a problem. When Franz Timmermans presented the better regulation proposal, he tried to assure that all these fears were unfounded. It's not about lowering standards, environmental, social or, 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 or other. It's about making sure that if we legiferate, we do it in the best possible way, quality-wise, and that SMEs can dedicate their work on creating jobs, on creating new products, on creating innovation, and should not you know, spend days and end filling in forms, etc., etc. It's about that. The plan in the Commission is to reach a deal on this proposal with the EU Member States and the European Parliament by the end of the year. And that should be possible. In the European Parliament there is major support from the biggest political families. And in EU Member States this fits well in when it comes to dealing with Eurosceptics at home.